Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be trying out as well as showing you guys how to get the secret stretch resolution pro players have been hiding. Now, I know I have made a ton of stretch resolution videos in the past, and when I say a ton, I truly mean a ton, but I promise you guys, this video is different. You see, on top of revealing the new best stretch res, I will also take you guys through an updated CRU tutorial, that way you get absolutely no delay. It's busted! Thus, drop a like down below if you enjoy, and if you're gonna try out stretch resolution. Also, please, as I always say for these stretch res tutorials, watch them all the way through if you guys miss any steps or if you accidentally do something wrong you can get a black screen so again watch the whole dang thing but enough with the jibber jabber let's get into the stretch res all right, so the best way to understand how display or even GPU scaling works is you right click on your desktop, you can go down to display settings, and what you're gonna do is go all the way down to advanced display settings. On this page, as you can see, it shows your first monitor as well as your second one. For both, it actually shows your desktop res and then something called your active signal res. With something like display scaling, you want both of these to say your actual stretch res. So right now I'm on native, the two of them say 19 by 1080 but if I were to go and change my res using GPU scaling all I do for that I think you guys know this but you just go to change res in your Nvidia control panel this is not display scaling by the way this is what I said before is GPU scaling if I were to change it to a custom res like 1750 by 1080 as you guys can see there are now black bars you know what I'll just make it stretch boom however if we go back to the display settings and then over to the monitor that we stretched which is this one my main one, you can see that the desktop res is different than the active signal res. One is stretched, one is not, and this is because we're not using display scaling. Our monitor is not scaling the res to both of them. Instead, what's happening is the GPU, which you can read, is connected to this monitor. The GPU is scaling it, so while the desktop res says 1750 by 1080, our active signal res is still native, and there's gonna be some delay, hence why all the pros love display scaling. There's there's basically like no delay with it. Back to native resolution, we can start the display scaling tutorial. That is going to make it so both our desktop and our active signal res are our stretch resolutions. That's what we want, our end goal. And how we're going to begin the tutorial and process is by actually searching up percent local app data percent. This is something that not a lot of people do. It messes them up a ton. But you're basically going to go to the Fortnite game files, Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, game user settings. Settings, and what you're gonna do is right click go down to properties and just uncheck read only So make sure it looks like this read only is not checked press apply then okay after that You're gonna right click again, but this time go to edit. These are your game user settings This is actually how you normally get stretched res if you're doing the GPU scaling method But all we want to do is make sure that our res is at 1920 basically on native. I think I scrolled by it uh, Here we go. So resolution size you want this to be 1920 by 1080. You do not want it to be stretched in your game files. Even this one, last user confirmed desired screen width. Make sure they're all native. And from there, you're gonna save, exit out, and leave your game user settings as not on read only. It doesn't need to be checked. Next step, we are not at the CRU part yet, is you're gonna right click and go to your NVIDIA control panel. There's actually two different things you're gonna wanna do here. So the first is go to change resolution, which is where I was before. This was where I said you can go and use GPU scaling. But right now, you're gonna click on PC or whichever the default is. You're gonna click customize, just make sure you can hit it. And you're actually gonna delete any sort of custom resolutions you have. So 1750 by 1080, I'm just gonna exit out, delete it. Yes. Your screen will flicker, but it's okay. Also make sure that you uncheck enable resolutions not exposed by the display. You do not want that checked as well. Press okay from there. And to finish the NVIDIA control panel part, you're going to want to go to adjust desktop size and position. It's also on the left. Scroll down, obviously using the monitor that you want stretched on, but you're going to go down to where it says scaling. And this is actually where you can see whether or not you have GPU and display or only GPU 
GPU scaling. If when you click perform scaling on, you only see GPU, that means that display scaling is not going to work for you. Your monitor is most likely old, or you're on a laptop, or maybe you don't have an HDMI cable in. Whatever it is, if you do not see display scaling, it's not going to work. So go watch this video on your screen. You can still get stretched res, but it won't be the lowest amount of input delay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit display scaling. I'm also going to hit where it says select a scaling mode. I'm going to hit no scaling. Preview does not matter. Just go down and hit apply. Oh man, I love when my screen is black. But those are the two main things you need to do before you get to CRU. CRU is custom resolution utility. And that's what we're going to go and download right about now. I'll have the download link for CRU or Custom Resolution Utility. I'll have it down below. It's on a website called monitortest.com. And basically what it is, is it's a zip file, CRU 1.5.1.zip. I'm going to click that and just hit download. It should download pretty damn fast. I already have it. But basically what I'm going to do is just minimize my browser and drag it onto my desktop. Oh, there's two of them. Most of you guys should have like 7-zip or WinRAR by now. If you don't, go download it. But I'm going to open the CRU file that we downloaded. And what you should see are these four different options. Restart 64, Restart, Reset All.exe, and CRU. All of them are important, but we want to focus on CRU right now. That is custom resolution utility, like I said. It is this beautiful, very tiny application. This is going to give us display scaling, stretch res. And to start with it, you're going to want to go to the top tab and just make sure you click the main monitor you use for Fortnite. I actually have two of them. Both of them are Dells, which is kind of confusing, but I know the main one, the one that I have active, you want it to say active. I know my main one is this one, 2521H. So I'm going to hit that. Your settings for this may look different. It's more than fine. So how I'm going to start this is down towards the bottom where it says extension blocks. You should see something weird like CTA dash 861. It'll probably say something different for your monitors, but just click on whatever is there. And what I'm going to do is hit edit. A little extension block window will come up. And from here, I'm going to go to the top where it says the detailed resolutions. And I'm going to hit the one that's closest to the bottom towards the data blocks. This one is 1920 by 1080 at 240 hertz. It should be the highest hertz, or at least the hertz you're used to using for Fortnite. And all I'm going to do is again, click edit. But this time in the detailed resolution timing box, I'm going to go up to the top right and hit copy. What that's going to do is it's going to copy all the different timings. You don't want to change anything. Don't click any of this. Just hit copy and press OK. But while still in the extension block window, don't press OK a second time. You're actually going to do something weird, which is delete all the detailed resolutions one by one. Whatever it says here, 1920, just press delete again, delete. It'll delete them one by one, including the one you just edited press delete and from here you can now press ok Following that up on the left side where it says established resolutions, you should see some of them are checked. We don't want that. We want all of them to be unchecked. So press none. We also, you know what? We'll delete all the extension blocks. Just delete them all. No extension blocks. And from here, we're going to go to where it says standard resolutions. We're also going to delete all of those. I don't have any, but I know on my other monitor there were some. So for standard resolutions, also press delete all. We're just deleting everything. And after you delete the standard resolution, press add. That's going to give you a really small box. Under resolution, click and go down to 1920 by 1080. Leave the refresh rate at 60 hertz. That is fine. Press OK. And now for kind of like the last step, but also not the last step, go up to detailed resolutions one more time. One of them like magically got added back, which is fine. Just press delete all on that as well. And then press add. This looks like the screen we saw before where we copied. So what we're going to do is we're going to press paste. Boom. That's all the timings that we had before. We pasted them in. And this is also where we're actually going to put in the secret stretch resolution. So what the secret stretch res is, is it's actually 1720 by 1080. So what I'm going to do is just type in 1720 for the horizontal pixels. I'm going to leave the vertical one at 1080. I didn't change anything else. But this is the res that Peterbot uses, Byla used. Both of them actually used it at the same time when they won FNCS. And you know, I've heard 
it's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna press okay. And now you're basically done. Just please boys, make sure your CRU looks exactly like this. You don't really wanna have anything in any of these. Just the detailed res has your stretch. Standard res has native at 60 hertz. And yeah, you're gonna press okay. You're gonna go back to your CRU zip file, open that up, and all you're gonna do is hit restart 64.exe. This boys is where some of you guys will run into trouble. Some of you undoubtedly will get a black screen if you skipped a step or just did not listen to me and tried it when you did not have display scaling. But if that happens, it's fine. Your monitor is not broken. Your PC is fine. All you're gonna wanna do is go into safe mode, which this guide on the screen will show you. I'll link it down below as well. But you're gonna wanna go into safe mode and you're gonna wanna open this exact page. Again, this is if you have a black screen. Just go to reset all and then hit restart 64.exe. That will fix everything. But just go and follow the guide. It explains it perfectly. Otherwise, for people that it worked, I'll show you guys basically the finishing steps once I actually restart this. Give me a minute. So I just restarted. This is what I see. Graphics driver restarted. It does say recovery mode, which is basically safe mode, as well as restart again. But we're not gonna do that. Right away, I can tell I'm on 60 hertz, which is actually good. That basically means it worked. So what I'm gonna do is X this stuff out. I'm gonna go back to my display settings by right-clicking on my desktop, going down and hitting that. Again, scrolling down to advanced display settings. This is where we were before. And what I'm gonna do is at the top where it says display, Click the one that we stretched. It should be the same exact one from your CRU. And we're now gonna hit something that is new. Display adapter properties for display one. It also might be display two, whichever. This will pop up another new weird window. Click list all modes. And from here, you should have the option. Oh, I spoiled it. You should have an option for a bunch of valid modes. And if you scroll down or just look hard enough, you will find the stretch res 1720 by 1080, 240 hertz. I'm gonna click OK. Okay. Then I'm gonna hit apply. And now boys and girls, if you look, I know I have a black bar. Hold on. I'm gonna stretch it again. Uh, boom. We're on stretch res, but what's important is that if you look right here, it says the active signal res is the same as the desktop res. They are both 1720 by 1080. Oh, it's so beautiful. Display scaling has finally worked. And as you will see in game, it's kind of our native res now. Now, as you can see, I am in-game in Fortnite. It does look stretched to me. It should kind of look stretched to you guys as well. But the way to prove and to know that display scaling actually worked is if you go down to your settings, on the first tab you should see at the top, even though my head blocks it, you should see my resolution says 1720 by 1080. It is the only option I have. It's basically my native res. That's what we did in the tutorial. So because we're on display scaling, the default res I'm gonna get is 1720 by 1080, the stretch res we wanted, and that's basically how you know you're successfully on stretch resolution. Display scaling, that is. Meaning, now we can go and try it out in an actual game. Not gonna lie, guys, I have been addicted to this Tilted Zone War stuff. I feel like there's way more action than in Arena. We're gonna see just how good I can be in this game mode. With the stretch res, of course. Edit. What? My aim should be godly because I'm like so zoomed in. I lose FOV. Ah, uh, uh, that's a good sign. Where are these brothers at? He's taking my high ground. The aim is nice. The one part of my aim that needs the most work. Oh, did not mean to. Okay, maybe I did. Reset. Oh, that's the oldest trick in the book. Oh, I have no match. Oh, I'm crazy. I've literally never done that much damage with my pump, especially that frequently. I was hitting maxes on maxes on maxes. Was it a fluke though? Oh. No, my clip. Bro? Just, oh no. This guy just building up. AR aim. Surge tags. 
I want some blue battle. Are you sure about that? No way. My shotgun didn't shoot. Whoa! I made it! It's time to assert my dominance. Oh my. <laughs> I'm telling you, my shotgun aim is nutty. It's not normally like any good. Oh, and as I say that. 32. Come down. Come to daddy. Papa what? Oh, do I just kill this guy or do I shotgun him? Oh! Wait a second. This guy knows his stuff. Yo! Oh, I didn't even realize that's the, the charge SMG. Oh. He's charging up! Ah! Well, even though I missed some really easy shots, that's just me being straight up bad. I have to say, this stretch res feels insanely good. Obviously, my FPS is around the same just because I have a really good PC, but I guarantee for a lot of you guys... Yeah, you cannot run. For a lot of you guys, I think it'll make your game feel insane. Not to mention, like, my aim is feeling really good. Everything is so zoomed in that, like, you just feel locked in. From edits to aim. Oh, peek me. Okay. Oh, that guy just got wiped. No, that's a guy. That was the guy I got second to. White. Nice. Cone? This guy again? Will I get my revenge? Oh, I have no mats. Yes! Yes! That is proof, boys. Stretch dress makes you better, including 1720 by 1080. So go use it, go try it out. And if you want to know how to go back to native, watch the last part of the video. For those of you wondering how you can get back to normal native, you know, maybe you don't want to stay on stretched. All you're going to do is go back to the CRU zip. You're then going to hit reset all.exe. So I'm going to do that. It's going to ask you if you want to reset all displays and delete inactive entries. Yes. Reset all should successfully go. And then you're going to hit, as it says, run restart.exe or reboot. And we're just going to hit restart.exe like it said. It kind of cut me off there. The recording actually stopped, but. As soon as you reset, you basically should be good. You should be back on native. One annoying thing is that, at least with my own experiences, every time I reset, it changes my refresh rate. As well as on my second monitor, you can see it actually goes to 60. So I'm going to go down to where it says PC 1920 by 1080. That allows me to change the refresh rate to the highest. Then the only other thing that it kind of changes is in your display settings, sometimes it might make it so your monitors kind of change which one is the main display display or like which way your mouse goes so I'm just gonna go and swap these make sure this is my main monitor and pretty much after that okay there we go pretty much after that you're good to go you're back on native and you successfully went from display scaling stretch res to just how it was before nice